Welcome. Thanks for taking me off ramp to adventure. Today it's not going to be so much of a roadside attraction as another edition of Abandoned, Barren, and Weird. Yeah, mainly because it's cold and cloudy and there's nothing open. That being said, can somebody tell me what the heck these things are? Kind of looks like a big jack, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid, you played jacks? Did you play jacks when you were a kid? Anyway, looks like maybe a, a giant play jacks. That's not the only one. Yeah, there's a whole bevy of objects that ought in the park. Do people get paid to do this? To put metal things together? I mean, I think that would be so cool, don't you? To get paid for doing art in the park. People coming out, looking at it and going, what is it? Just get amazed by things like this, that people come out, put them together, out of their own minds, they create these things and then they put them in the park for us to enjoy or try to figure out what they are. No, these are not the only masses that we're going to be looking at today. Many objects to art in the park and some pretty odd things as well. Yeah, it's going to be worth sticking around to the end of the video. I've got to admit, I would love to see some sunshine and feel some warmth. It has been freakishly warm in the Midwest. It's been so warm, this is happening. The trees and plants are so confused, they don't know what to do. It's kind of like me, yeah, most of the time. You've got to admit, this is one gnarly tree. Get it? Gnarly. Okay, never mind. This thing is so huge, look at this. It is actually going into the ground, coming back out again. And in some places, it's actually starting to grow other parts of itself. Look at this. It is connected to the tree. You just can't see it. This tree is like totally awesome. I wish I knew what this was. It looks like some kind of sycamore, maybe. Some kind of, yeah, something out of your nightmare. Yeah, pretty much. Can you wrap your head around the idea of a bird condo? Yeah, looks like it's back open for business. They actually close these up in the winter. And they run it up and down the flagpole. Can you see the flagpole thing going on there? A little crank. No occupants as of yet, but we're waiting. Abandoned, barren, and weird. This one looks like it comes with its own satellite connection. No, literally. To a uh, satellite, see that thing on top? Yeah bird condos and I'm willing to bet you've never seen a tree like this before look at those intricate carvings or whatever they are surely didn't grow that way did it no see the squares kind of interesting huh who takes the time to do this to a real tree I can't tell if they've been done on the tree or they were added to the tree like maybe through a a wire or something to make them form like that perfect blocks still cool the sun keeps coming and going today it's kind of nice to see it but I'd like to see it a little more often okay I told you this is going to be an addition of abandoned barren and weird I don't know if you're ready for this but I've got something very weird to show you something you don't see in the forest very often it's the wild red hydrating water hydrant. I know. Of course, when you're coming up to the visitor center, you will see one. Never know when the trees might need a drink. Or what if the forest caught on fire? It's there to help out Smokey. Of course. Just going to make a quick pit stop, if you know what I mean. Guessing that's what it's there for. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Doesn't have a name. But I've gotta hand it to 
whoever created it. It's pretty darn awesome. From this angle, it kind of looks like a dinosaur, doesn't it? From this angle, it kind of looks like a turkey or maybe a bird flying away. Oh, I love artwork that stimulates the mind. And Bernheim is the only place I can think of where you can actually give a work of art a high five. An abandoned barren, weird or not, I can't bring you to Bernheim without showing you this. Talk about your thatched roof. This is actually more like a garden, I guess. It grows, it lives. Well, not right now because it's winter, but yeah. It's uh, covering for the water hydrant. This, I'm guessing, is in case you want to make hay when the sun shines. <laughs> if the sun ever shines again. Yeah, that's an old saying they said a long time ago. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I pretty much run the gamut today on abandoned, barren, and weird, but come on, you've got to admit, this is weird. A huge chunk of tree that's been cut down, but what's weird about it is the fact that Bernheim keeps it under a shelter made of wood. Huh. Oh, well, some things are way too complex for my mind. Uh, I'm willing to admit that. Shelter for a wood stump made out of wood. Okay, if you've seen any of our other off-ramp videos about Bernheim Forest, you know at one time it was farmland. And of course, there is a little bit of history left behind from the farm. You could call it old school refrigeration. Everything they needed to keep cool, they stuck in there. This is known as a spring house. As it says, originally built about 1910 and relocated here in 1971. From every look, it kind of looks like a jail cell. <laughs> Goes way back about 20 feet and it echoes. Full of water right now. Of course, that's what they wanted back then. Help keep things cool. And something I just found, we gotta check this out. The I Spy Trail. In the forest, natural treasures are hidden in plain sight. How many can you find? We'll be back with this. Nothing like a couple of old silos to remind you of farm life, huh? Except they didn't have windows back then. I'm not sure what that's all about. At one time, they had refreshments in there. They had a soft drink machine and vending, but they're back to being vacant again. Wise words. Let's check inside. Hello. Hang on, way out. This would be perfect for singing in the shower. Kind of like the old refrigerator from the 1900s, huh? No, nothing in here now. Concrete, wood beams, and a whole lot of being barren. After what we found in the other one, you wouldn't think I would show you the other one, but. This one's got a ceiling fan. And lights. Okay. We can party now. Where? Hello. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm being kid. This one still has me stumped. Probably should be asking someone, what's the deal? Whoa! The magic of video makes this look fun, but Speed limit through the parks, 20 miles an hour, just so you know. I don't know. It's obviously meant to symbolize something. Maybe it's meant to symbolize love unfurling or love in bloom. Yet another object to art in Bernheim. If I were honest, it kind of reminds me of something I've stuffed in the back of my man cave refrigerator, you know, like six months ago. I wish I could have caught on film the man that was fishing that heard me talking to myself, talking to you guys. <laughs> he thinks I'm some kind of nut. So and I'm gonna leave him in peace. Hopefully he catches something. I don't know what he's gonna catch that's not deep frozen. I'm always amazed by this tree. I think it's a birch. It's just so huge. These limbs extend out a good, probably 30 feet. Yeah, swing on these things. Oh. It's huge. 
I'm not getting on it. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up today, guys, with our abandoned, barren, and weird trip to Bernheim. Appreciate you guys coming along again. If you like this episode, give it a, a thumbs up. Subscribe, that really helps us out. Whatever you do, don't forget, adventure is as close as the next off ramp. Look, it's another wild red hydrating fire hydrant. This forest is full of them. I'm thinking somebody was wanting a croissant when they thought of this. To be sure, I'm not making fun of the objects of art, okay? I'm really not. I'm just one of those guys who can't... Just to be... Okay, just to be clear. Okay, just to be clear, I'm not making fun of the objects of art. Okay, just to be clear, I'm not making fun of the objects of art, okay? Really not. I love art. Wouldn't you like to see the bird that goes in this nest? Whoa!